So I'm out on a little hike in uh, somewhere in Scotland working on the show. And today's my day off, so I can just kind of goof off and do what I want to do. And there's a nice little trail down there you can see uh, that goes around this lake or loch, I guess it would say over here, loch. Um, and I'm just kind of following it around. I crossed a little stream down there, and I looked, I saw little little pieces of brick and stuff. So I thought I might just kind of come up this ravine. So I went from the path down there, worked my way up the stream, uh, or a little creek or whatever it is, up to that fence, which you can hear there's a highway on the other side. So I didn't go any further than that. Saw some broken bottles and a couple odds and ends. And I was coming back down, I noticed that there was um, some pieces of pottery and glass here, and this big tree was down and had made a little ball of dirt that you know i could see stuff in so i came up here looking around and i think i see something pretty cool no idea how old it is but we're going to find out together looky it's pottery and nettles <laughs> don't touch the nettles those things burn like crazy uh no but really over here i noticed a bottle no i guess that's not a bottle some type of um, um ceramic container a little bit of glass. I don't know if this is going to be whole or not, but we're going to find out. Be amazed with all these rocks in here. Hey, we're going to find out together. Oh, come on. Oh, I think it's whole. Lucky. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Well, missing the uh, handle on it, but oh, that's all right. That reminds me of something that they might put gin in. Oh, well, it's probably not what it is. Might have a maker's mark on it somewhere. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead. Yeah, we're all right there. I tell you what, let me clean this off a little bit and we'll get a better look at it. And we'll look around here just a little bit more. I don't see a lot of like a lot of stuff sticking out of the dirt. It's probably been picked over in the past, but we'll spend just a few minutes and <laughs> you see me now. <laughs> Give me five. All right, so I got it cleaned off a little bit. Let's take a quick look at it and then I'll search around on my own because I'm not real hopeful we're going to find a bunch of stuff. I just cleaned this mark off a little bit. I'm hoping you guys can read it. It's really kind of hard for me to read. I guess it looks almost like it's German or something. I don't, you know, I'm having a hard time reading without my glasses lately. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we can look that mark up and see when it was made. I think it's pretty cool. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and rebury this because I can't really take this stuff out of the country anyway without an export uh, license in. I don't think that thing is too terribly old. So this is kind of a first for me. I'm still walking around this lake where I found a bottle. Hopefully I showed that to you. And the uh, path kind of went up this direction. I could hear the traffic, so I just want to see what was up here. I looked over to my left and I see some pretty bird boxes. But they looked a little weird, so I thought I'd come over and check them out. And guess what? Have to be some awfully small birds to get in there, huh? Ah, <laughs> there grows one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is the first time I've ever seen um, boxes for mason bees. What this is, is these are like little bird boxes for these little tiny bees that are very beneficial. I think they do a lot of pollination and whatnot. Uh, they're not aggressive. But they like to nest in little holes like this. And I saw where a lot of times you see these like little cardboard tubes. Those actually looks like bamboo right there. I ought to make some of these. I never thought about making a box like that, putting them in. Yeah, see, see how this is a little tunnel? This is sealed off right here. So there's little eggs in there and they probably have some type of food in there for them. I don't know what they uh, feed their babies. Well, yeah, that's for uh, mason bees. Kind of cool, huh? I'm gonna make some of those when I get home, I promise you. Might be too late in the season to really get them active, but next summer I'm gonna have a whole passel bag of them, if that's actually a term. <laughs> Who knows? Let's keep hiking. Look at me! Got a rock or a coin?
Mother Earth, she's got her secrets. 